Zav with one kid in college and another one on her way soon. I've been thinking a lot about the college admissions process and their bills and what criteria should be used to get accepted. A growing number of schools across the country are moving away from standardized exams like the SAT and the ACT. Uh, more than 800 no longer mandate score submissions, and I'm all for that. I uh, saw a little girl, a little girl, she was a senior in high school who was a friend of mine, a friend of mine's daughter, who was a straight-A student, uh, was the head of the cheerleading squad, was the head of the debate society. She was crying at the railroad station because why she couldn't get a college of her choice because she didn't have high enough SAT scores. She was a straight-A student. SAT is, a, is a, an absolute disgrace for admissions departments to use it. It's lazy, and they're written by a bunch of fat old dudes up in New Jersey, and they're lousy tests. How do you really too? feel about yes, that? Right. How do you really feel? Tell us, well, please. Well, here's the thing. How else do you, how else can you get a standard grade for someone from Oklahoma to New York to uh, to how Wisconsin? Look at their high school training. Yeah, but different, different high schools have different yeah. demands. And you don't know if there's an inflation of grades from here to there. My son's a senior and in high school, too. Put a, some, based on some bunch of dudes outside of Princeton, they're going to decide this? You're going to tell me it's just three guys smoking pot? No, I tell you, it's been, this place has been under attack for years and for good reason. Well, the ACT, too. I mean, my son's taking both. I, it's just one of the facts of life. They need a standardized ground. But I also know that three of the ten schools he's applying to don't don't want them. Good. And let them all get rid of them. Let them all go broke. I'll be but happy what they see. should add is an essay test because of the the ineptitude and in, in writing. Well, they have that now. There, 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 not, there, all, there. not all universities have it, but right. getting there. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I, I think that I, I, th I understand where you're coming from. If you have great grades, you're not a great test taker, <laughs> but over you have a 96, <laughs> that's you. Me too. I mean, there's I a lot of people, of you, but also, um, in schools and public schools, they also have to help you pass the SATs, different keys to do that. Yeah. So you might have an 82, and all of a sudden you kick butt on the SATs and you catapult yourself into a university you normally yeah. couldn't get into. I had really good grades, but I'm not the greatest test taker. Yeah. I, my excuse was I had to go to the bathroom during the SATs, but the writing portion, the essay portion, helped balance out yeah, I, I think the that, math that was the one I positive your, thing. I do see your point, though, Bob. I don't think they can base it just on yeah. tests, but I think if they just make the panel decide at their own will based on diversity purposes. I think and I think that's probably not very fair. How'd you do on your SATs? I did very well, but I also, why would we take tools away from uh, an admissions office right. or any school? Let them use, choose their own criteria. Yeah, judgment. I would have more. I would have transcripts. Mm -hmm. I would have ACT. I would have SAT. I'd have a special essay. I'd have whatever it takes, Bob, because it, as Brian points out, there are different criteria in different high schools around the country. Uh, one of the best high schools in the country is across the river in Jersey City. Now, is it fair that those kids may get lower test score, lower transcript yeah. scores to a kid who maybe go to a public school in the city but, but, and be graded at the it, same listen, level? If I, thought that, I thought that if you had standardized tests that actually were reflective of what people were doing, but you, the people who were opposed to these things had a kid take them back to back, a group of kids take them back to back, you're, and the range was 350 points. You're talking about something points. different. Though. You're about something. You're, you're making a very good point that within the ACT or the SAT, you may want to dig in and find out and make sure the questions are fair to a wider group of kids, rather than telling the colleges what they should or shouldn't be looking at. Well, it's, it's, it's a fairly low bar, what we're asking American students to pass. And, and if, you, if they're going to be competitive with students from all around the world, passing the SAT and the ACT, getting a decent score is probably not that much to ask. Right. Yeah. It's pretty I, consistent. Maybe I'm upset because consistent. I got the lowest score you could possibly get at SAT. If you're heading home this Thanksgiving weekend, stay tuned for an update on the holiday travel situation. Excuse me. Also coming up, six <laughs> Americans we should be very thankful for this Thanksgiving. We might have lost the Revolutionary War had it not been for George Washington's Secret Service agents. Brian just wrote an incredible book about them, and you'll have to hear their stories. Unbelievable. That's up next. Stay with us.